And Dash, we got my boy Aaron on here today. Aaron Foster, man. You know, we had a lot of battles. ALC South, man. My boy been silent ever since I met him, man. Man, what's good, man? What's good, man? It's good seeing y'all boys, man. Damn. <laughs> like, right? Time flies, don't it? Yeah, fat, right. It goes, bro. I got a daughter. She's 13, family. I'm like, what? God, 13, dog. 13? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy as hell, man. And I had her my rookie year, fam. A rookie year? Oh, yeah. man. 09. 09. She, that's the year you, you went for 2K, wasn't it? Yeah, 09. Yeah, yeah. 09. Special, 09. special year, man. Special year. <laughs> yeah, special year, man. Yeah, you know that's that a was, definitely oh, special man. year. Yeah, man. It's crazy you bring that up, though, man, because it was like, man, um, I remember playing against you, and then I remember one year you just went to going crazy. Like, I'm like, man, I know I pay attention to, especially college football, especially that that at that point in my career, so young in the league. I'm like, man, where he come from? And they like, he was in, he went to um, Tennessee. So like, man, like, what's your story? Did you when you left high school? Did you originally go to Tennessee, or did you transfer or something? No, I went to Tennessee. Um. I think what happened was because, well, first of all, that year was special because that year I went undrafted. Oh, no, it was my rookie year. And that year you went for 2K. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember we played y'all. I think it was Monday night. We had the red unis on. And, well, you, got off, and you got <laughs> off. And at that time, that was my first game I got brought up from the Peace Squad. Right. And I was like, I was like on special teams and shit. And I remember watching you know, on the sidelines, like my nigga, it was so inspiring because I was like, I mean, of course, in your head, you the best nigga ever, right? Everybody. Right. Right? I was like, right. oh, I'm better than this nigga, right? <laughs> so, so like, but I seen you getting off. I was like, yo, I just gotta do I I, I I'm here. We share in the same field, I'm here. Like that's what right, I right. that shit. So that shit was inspiring, but like, you never get to, you know, give niggas their flowers, man. So you inspired a lot of niggas though. But oh, uh, yeah, for sure. But uh I guess my story was I got off. In, in Tennessee, man, but there was a whole bunch of politics uh, that happened in college. So, like, I, I had, like, made, like, all SEC my junior year, and me and, uh, I don't know if you remember Gerard Mayo. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah Mayo. Yeah. Me and him, we, we we was juniors, and we put in our, you remember how they had the NFL advisory committee? where you? Like, yeah, you would do that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, so I got a second round grade, and so did Mayo. Mayo ended up going 10. Uh, I don't, I doubt I would have went that high, but I would have I felt somewhere uh, low one, two, maybe three, whatever. Um, but I decided to stay. Now I got my mm -hmm. head pumped up by the coaches, all this other shit. Mm -hmm. Um, decided to stay and just we switched OCs, right. and it just went to shit. I, I ended up like not even playing, dog. Like yeah, they just they just stopped playing me. A whole bunch of reasons as to why. And then I fell off the radar. Went to the Senior Bowl, was killing. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I popped my hamstring during the fucking Pat White. I forgot all about this. This nigga Pat White, man. If I ever see this nigga, man, <laughs> bro, check, check this out. You know how you know how the All Star games, bro. They um, they yeah, uh, what what they they call like really vanilla plays, right? Mm. Bro, we had we had a play called fake draw right, screen right. Mm. This nigga puts the ball on my chest and lets it go, and and it's a fumble, and it's looking mm. like I fumbled the shit, so I'm scrambling trying to grab the shit. And uh, some nigga come behind me and push me, and my my leg was stuck, and it popped my shit like like literally mm. popped. It. And so I, I didn't get, I didn't get to run in the combine. I didn't none of that shit. And so like I just fell all the way off the draft boards. Um, and then Houston took a chance on me, uh, signing me undrafted, and then um, I was better than the niggas that they had, but more. Right. Politics. But I mean, it, it, it worked out. It worked out fine, man. I'm yeah, good. yeah, it worked out good. And I I say that because just from playing against you, and not even that from. Me first seeing you play and then battling against you for years for years and years and just watching your career. I'm like, bro, it's no way I didn't know about this guy because I'm seeing how good you is yeah. like on the field. Like I'm just like, like how does how that shit happen or whatever? Like it's crazy, but man, bro, you was a dog, man. You know what's crazy, 2K? Hey, Aaron, you know a dude named Sean White that went to UT with you, little running back? Sean White? Yeah. He was a real little, like a walk-on dude. Ah, man. I might. I'm better with faces than Kiff, Yeah, if you probably. So, look. Wasn't Kiff. Was Kiff there with you? Nah, that was right before. Right, I, at, right, right, right after I left. That okay. Was well, he was there before and after. So, but he just remember. He, it's crazy because I was in Tennessee at the time. And he was up at UT. 
Um, and I just remember he used to be like, dog, we got a running back up here that's cold. So I already had mm-hmm. knew about you, you know what I'm saying? Because of him. Right. But like like Young said, it was it was uh it was it, it's it's crazy to see how a player like you can go undrafted. And then to go on the run that you had, um, where it's, it's amazing. Like, what are these scouts like? How can they be a scout and call themselves a scout to have somebody like you go undrafted? That's ridiculous. <laughs> man, I, I told him I used to fuck with the scouts all the time, man. Like, I used to fuck with them all the time. Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all looking at, man. Clearly. But, I mean, I think it's just one of the – and also, I, I didn't help myself either. Like, um, I wasn't in nearly, the, like, the best shape I could have been in. You know, in college, I was living the college life. I was enjoying it. I was partying. I was drinking, you know, eating yeah. like shit. And then when I went undrafted, it was like a wake up call. Um, I was still getting busy, you know what I'm saying? I was all SEC. I was still getting busy, but I could have, I could have ran, I could have ran that division better than than you know, what I did. Um, but and when, when I when I went undrafted, it was like a wake up call, because like literally, you, I mean, when we kids, this is what we want to do. For sure. And right. then you go undrafted. Y'all got millions of dollars coming out of college, right? I I, was, right. I signed for five racks, my nigga. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I still thought it was good money though. You feel me? Um, all right. I signed for five racks and I was like, man, fuck. Because I know I'm just, you always feel like these niggas are not better than me. Like they just fucked right. up. That's just how I felt. They just fucked up. Right. So I just made it my job like to show them how much you fucked up. So like we went hard. I remember, uh, shout out to my nigga, um, D'Amico Ryan. She's got the head coaching job. Yeah, Miko. Right. My rookie year when I was on Peace Squad because I got cut and they, they put me on Peace Squad. On Peace Squad, you you seen cats on people they get cut every day yeah, like, if, right. we have a, if we have a receiver that looks like they starting receiver it feels like they're they gonna cut somebody just to give that feel for that week you know what i'm saying it was like really volatile mm-hmm. so i was like yo they're gonna feel me every day like they just gonna feel me every day and we was like i remember one time we was practicing and miko miko was like hey man chill out man we just trying to get a look i was like nigga you're not gonna feed my daughter fam fight me i don't care like, we, yeah we out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna run dog it is what right I'm Right. That's what's up. Speaking right. of Nico, man, he just got the head coaching job um, in Houston, which is dope as hell. Another black coach. I love seeing that. What do you think they should do with that second pick, man? Uh, man, I don't lie, y'all. I ain't watched college football. <laughs> it's been a minute, man. I took, right. I took. I don't really watch much sports nowadays, man. Like I just got so many right. different interests and shit going on. Like I couldn't tell you who's good. I watched. I watched the. I think. I, yeah, I watched the national championship game. I watched. I watched a few games. I watched the Tennessee Orange Bowl game because they they, they played. Yeah. Um, but I just haven't been watching, man. I, I couldn't. Right. Y'all can tell me better. I, I know that I know they need a the quarterback, but is is is, 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 is this good? I think I think what is the Alabama quarterback the best one? I would yeah, say I think so. Either, yeah, that's what they saying. But I like the Ohio State kid, uh, C.J. Stroud. He's Brown. really suit. Um, but I mean, right now, yeah, they got some they got some real top talent coming out at quarterback this year. Yeah. Um, even your guy, Hooker, coming out, like he, you know, it's unfortunate with his knee and, you know, what he had to do. But if he didn't have that, he would have been up on one of them boards as well. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I love him. That's my dog. <clears throat> he was actually, he came on my podcast a lot. Yeah. The dude behind him. Um, what's his name? I forget. When his that name. started, he was just, he started. Yeah. I know. I can't think of his name either. But yeah. He, but he this, waited his turn too. Got, this nigga got a professional arm, dog. Yeah, like, right. He just need to tone it down. Like he needs a lot of coaching, and he needs to learn to check the shit down and just put a little touch on it. But he has one of the strongest arms I've ever seen, yeah, ever. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Well, yeah, we know you don't watch too much now, but I know you got an all-time top five running backs. What's your top five? I hate, I hate doing this, man, because you always gonna leave somebody it, off. Yeah, there's so many, but yeah. I got you. I got yeah. you. All right. All right. Uh. That's I gotta go. I gotta go Barry Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I, I think that's all our first. <laughs> yeah, that's it. he just did things. Yeah. That's why I always be arguing with people when they be like uh like the greatest like football players of all time and and then and they put quarterbacks on there. I'm just like, all right, man. They just, <laughs> right. I, I always this is a hot take, right? I always tell people like your quarter quarterback, especially nowadays, quarterbacks play an entirely different sport than we do, bro. Like right. it's just ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> so I got uh I got Barry Sanders. Um, uh, Eric Dickerson, he did. Y'all kind of had similar game, yeah. Facts, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, shit, I probably gotta go. Uh, Walter Payton, <laughs> sweetness. Yeah. I played with his son in Tennessee, Jerry. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, but oh, yeah, he did go. He went to Miami, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, 
see Barry. He the well, uh, I think just on the strength of what he did, I gotta go Jim Brown, right? Jim Brown. Yeah. Goats, and then uh, probably Daniel Thomason, like the original, yeah. like cat out the backfield. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LT that's, was cold, man. Nice. yeah, he was cold, yeah. bro. What is, I always want to ask you this, bro, what is your 40, bro? Because <laughs> no, no, for real. Because well, sneaky. Like, no, but he got like I but always was getting like, out. He man. Asked, he, yeah. Like he ran like Ed, like he used to gallop. Know what yeah. I'm saying? And, but he never, never mm -hmm. got caught. Yeah. So I never got officially timed because remember at the combine I popped my hamstring, and yeah. so like you'll hear yeah. a lot of people like, oh, he ran a four seven, but that's because a month later we was at my pro day and I still wasn't fully recovered. And mm -hmm. there was some scout there, and he was like, we got to get a time on you. And, like, you young, you don't know anything. And I'm like, mm -hmm. he's like, you got to go. We need the time on you. And I'm like, I can't. I'm not a healthy dog. And he's like, you got to go. Like, this is the NFL. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll run. I ran a 4-7. I was like, this is horrible. I was like, <laughs> right, horrible. And so um, when I when I trained, I mean, I trained with – because my brother was my trainer, right? So I trained with, like, DBs, and we trained on the track. And mm -hmm. so that's how I learned how to stride was training my brother. He ran track at FAMU. Right. And so, uh, in all season, I used to hit the track. And so, yeah. I mean, I, I think at my top speed, I was a good solid 4-4. 4-4, four, four. Four, four. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, like, right. I mean, it's, people don't see that, but, like, you see me walking off on niggas that was, like, 4-3. So, yeah, yeah, for real, but yeah, brother real never got caught. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Remind me of me, man. I <laughs> <laughs> never got caught. I ain't oh, it. while we giving each other uh, flowers, man, I was in college. I was at the University of Tennessee. And I told Reggie this too. You and that nigga, man. It was like I, I had I, I had screensavers on my mm -hmm. little computer, man. I had my, and, and you was one of them, my nigga, with the right. dark visor. Yes, it was sir. Just, like, it was just like y'all niggas was doing what I wanted to do. You know what right. I mean? Right. And, and, and I, I I used to I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna do that shit, dog. I'm gonna do that shit. And it was just like you never get to 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 tell people what they meant to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young, 18, 19 years old, and I'm watching niggas like. You know, live mm -hmm. out their dream, and that shit has inspired the shit out of me, dog. Like literally, so I appreciate that, bro. For real, for sure. That's love for real. Yeah, because you you inspired us. I mean, even though we was in the league at the same time, and some of the stuff you see, that's what I'm saying. You know, I, I uh, was backing up when he got there, but to see you come and see your undrafted story, and then to see you just take off like that, it was amazing to me, man. You uh, yeah. you definitely one of them. When like when we talk about our era of football, they can't leave you out of there. That's one yeah. thing for sure. I was I was talking to my boy the other day, man. Like our our era running backs, it's up there, bro. It, it was like, crazy. It's up there with it, some of the best generations, dog. Bro, because I feel like our era of running backs, we could have played in any generation because we talking about your rushing, but bro, you was cold out of that backfield oh, catching that sure. ball too, yeah. like. I used to argue with cool. I used to argue. I'm like, dog, like you know how you go into five wide sets, and yeah, they bring, and they bring two tight ends in. I was yeah. like, cool, bro. This nigga can't no, no tight end can catch better than me or run a better route than me. Why are you taking right. me off the field? I used to argue right. like all the time with these niggas. It's like, right. but we didn't, we didn't, we 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 wasn't in the era where where running backs could run right. routes. Like they was right. still stuck in that you're a workhorse shit. Like yeah. if we was in this era, hurt right. I was, I was this waiting for. I was waiting area. for them to let me split me out. Matter of fact, 2014 they started to split me out. Uh, Bill O'Brien and oh, we was man. at OTAs. This nigga had me lining up against our number one corner. I was man. getting busy. Like, I was getting busy. busy. Yeah, <laughs> busy dog. Oh, so it's man. crazy because like we talking about this era these these days. Um, it's like. They accept, you know, the 50 yards rushing, 45 yards receiving, and they like, that's a great day for the running back. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. I, I, I feel mad about them days. 50 <laughs> yards rushing? Well, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> you got these dudes getting second contracts, breaking the bank, and you like, you had 900 yards rushing. How is that possible? Like, yeah. Yeah. It's different. It's different, man. But it's like, but, all, but it never changes, dog. It never changes. The end of the year. When it's when when it's this time playoff football, you mm. gotta run the ball and yeah, play. Gotta, that shit is the same, it's the same same template. That shit just does not change. You great mm -hmm. right there, bro. How, so how was it playing with the the great Andre Johnson, man? Beats by Dre. That's my. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. What's up? What what, what quarter Finnegan? What's up with that? Man, Finney, 
That's my dog for life, but hey, sometimes you, you shouldn't climb up a tree if you can't get down, man. Yeah, nah. Are they cool? I didn't even, I didn't even talk to Dre about that. Are, nope. they, are they good? I don't think they're cool. Nah, I talked to Dre about it. Yeah, I don't think they're cool. I don't yeah. think they're cool. They don't talk you know what's, cra- what's crazy about that is, dog, chilling with Dre for so many years, in order to make that nigga mad, right. you got to piss him off. Asshole. You got to be an <laughs> asshole, bro. So it's a thousand percent on Cortland Finnegan, fam, because though Dre don't get mad, he don't get mad. Like this nigga don't get like he's right. worth millions and millions of dollars. Nice, one of the nicest niggas ever played a game. There's he just he has no anger in it, like ever. He's just nice. Right. And right. for for him to get mad like that, that nigga was doing some off the wall shit. But uh <laughs> to answer your question, beats by Dre. Um, I love playing with Dre Dog because uh he was one of the niggas like he was a leader to, to the extent of like, you ain't have to, he ain't say nothing. And so when he did say something, like it meant something. Like I remember like this nigga didn't talk to me my whole rookie year really. Like maybe one or two words, like hire, maybe some shit like that. And he didn't talk to me till the second to last game. We in Miami and it's, that was my first start actually <clears throat> in the NFL. And uh, we in Miami and uh, I had a good game. And, and at the very end, like we got to get a first down to, uh, to sell the game. And so we in that four minute offense mode and this nigga turns to me in the sidelines. He ain't talked to me the whole year, dog. That's like, mm-hmm. he's he like, you know, like God tier status. Like that's Dre, yeah. don't bother him. Yeah. Um, and uh, he turns to me and say, hey, Aaron, run us run us all up out of here, man. And I was like, yeah. I, like, I, 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 I got you, man. I can't let my nigga, I can't let him down. Ain't no right. way. Right. Right. Yeah. But that's just the way he commanded that like from everybody without saying it. Because he was like, he was so nice and he was so great that you ain't want to be the reason as to why he didn't get his opportunity. You know what I mean? Right. And right. so like he, that was an inspiration in itself. Okay. Right. I, I got to piggyback off of that. Do you think he, uh, do you think Houston wasted him? <laughs> Cause I'm talking about Brock Osweiler, you know, like some <laughs> of the quarterbacks y'all was bringing in there, Schwab, like, come on, man. Schwab. Um, Matt Schaub was a solid quarterback, man. He gets a lot of flack, but he, like... I mean, there's he, a lot of solid, but I'm saying, like, when yeah, you're talking yeah. about Dre, like, if if you put Dre with, a, you know, like, one of them dudes, like an A-Rod, or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. happens from there? He has 2,000 yards probably receiving. Yeah, no, easily. I, I think... I, and I think it's partly his fault. <laughs> and the reason why is because he's so, <laughs> he he's so, he's so humble. Uh-huh. Right? Like, receivers in this league, like, they divas, man. And, like, it, it's for a reason. It's like... If y'all y'all gotta give me the ball, like, right. and they and they do, and they, or y'all gotta get somebody in here who can give me the ball. Dre didn't say that shit. He might have told him like, you know, behind closed door, but there was never any public pressure um, on his end. Um, and that's just who he is. You know, he's very humble. He's like a really down to earth, humble cat. Mm-hmm. And so, um, did they waste him? I think I think it's tough because. You know, he was drafted as as a number one pick, or he was in the first round. They number one pick, um, I think, two thousand three, something like that. And they an expansion team. Yeah. And right. So immediately, as he he they they were in rebuilding mode the first eight nine years of his career. You know what I mean? And so they never got an opportunity to have. When we got there, like oh nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's when. Cranked up. We, yeah, we we really had an opportunity to compete, but but, but right. by that time, you know, he started to like kind of taper off, mm-hmm. and you know, that's just that's just how the league goes sometimes, man. It comes in waves, and so sure. I was I was upset that we couldn't get him on. Like that was like a, a big talk in the room, like though we gotta get Dre to the playoffs, dog. Like right, just, right. Just, right. And that's that's just the kind of like a human he was. Like everybody loved him like that on some like, yo, we gotta get this nigga in the playoffs. Even though I had never been to the playoffs, I'm over here. We gotta get right. to the playoffs. <laughs> But that's how you know that's yeah, that's just to love you though, because yeah. mm-hmm. oh shit, I forgot what I was about to say. I, I don't you know what you're in Denver, you're in Denver, that's why nigga. Nah, it ain't that you know <laughs> boy, that shit being there, the though. bruiser. <laughs> I ain't smoked. Had if I had I smoked, I probably could remember. I, I don't even know what I was about to say. That shit just went away quick as hell. <laughs> yeah, bro. So that's what I'm saying. So tell us, let us know, bro. Who is this Bobby Fino? Guy, you oh, know man. we know Arian. Yeah, <laughs> I've been chilling. Um, I don't know. I've, I've been making music since I was a kid, man. So um, I really started writing yeah. poetry. I started writing poetry as a kid. Um, my favorite poet of all times, a guy by the name of Sal Williams. Sal yeah. Williams used to run this uh, message board back in like shit early two thousand, dog. Like, yeah. 
And uh, that was when niggas had dial up and shit. And so it was like one of the first, you know, me- aim and message. Yeah. 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 Chat, yeah. yeah. chat rooms. Chat rooms was popping. Um, and, I, and I found his message board because I was like super into him. And I started writing poetry real young. And that naturally transitioned into, you know, infusing it with music. And after a while, um, you know, I got, I got, you know, you, I don't know, you pass around your music to your homeboys <clears throat> and they're like, oh, cool. But after a while, you know, you get to the point where it's like, yo, this is this is nice, dog. Like, right. this is, this is real. And so, um, yeah, I just started 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 cooking up. Uh, and and I, I didn't really want to release anything until after I was done playing because um, I couldn't give it the love I wanted to. It. So mm-hmm. it's it's a fun part of myself. I like to explore. I ain't trying to be famous off the shit. I don't. I ain't trying right. to go. Platinum. I just I just do it because it's self expression. Like. Um, right. It's just something that I love. I'll, I'll make music till I'm dead. That's how I've always done it, and I'll always do it. It's just a part of who I am. Oh, man, what's up, man? You, hey, you know what's crazy? You and 2K should probably get on the track. You, you, don't you, right you don't, don't do that shit, man, please. I got right. tracks with 2K. Man, nah, I used to be playing around. Cause one of my best friends, he rap. So I used to be at a studio with him all the time. So I get in there and just play around, man. I ain't. Let me find you. out, man. Man, I got some, <laughs> hey, I got some tracks too. I promise you, I gotta find them. Don't worry. I'm hey, send that shit to me. <laughs> I got you for sure. <laughs> oh, man, that got nervous that quick, man. Bust them bars, <laughs> young. Let me that shit. How's the vegan life treating you, bro? Man, I ain't been vegan since 2012, dog. Oh, you gave it up? Yeah, I gave it up a long time ago. So what? So how did you just? How is your body then? Like, as far as like, you just watch with your intake. You just try to keep it because obviously vegan. And when they preach vegan, they say that basically you're going healthy, way healthier style of living. If you can do vegan and then say f that, like, what what made you say that? Well, I agree with the lifestyle, and it's sure. not just vegan. It's called like plant plant based is probably plant. the best okay. way yeah. to do it. And so uh, <laughs> I did that shit. It was 2012 before there was <laughs> vegan restaurants and shit everywhere. So I got I got a bunch of flack for that shit. But um, uh, I I really stopped doing it for the sole reasons because it, it just wasn't like readily available as it is now. Like in order to like eat consistently, you had to plan every single meal out because they didn't have vegan options. The vegan options were like, it, it just wasn't that good. And so, um, yeah, I stopped uh, 2012 just because it's just it's just so hard to, to keep up. It's just so hard to keep up and you have to supplement a vitamin called B12. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I do agree. Like anytime I, I'm feeling a little puffy, you know what I mean? Been 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 binging a, a little too much. I'll go on like a weak plant-based diet and that shit drops right off. Like my energy levels go up. It's it like I always tell myself like when I when I'm done bullshitting, like yeah, and and I and I, it's it's time to like start paying attention to my health because we're getting up there, man. I'm 36, right. man. So it's, right. it's it's around the time to start paying attention to, to what you put in your body because it it, it comes out and it affects you. Uh, oh, for sure. I, I'm definitely gonna do that in high quantity. Uh I don't know if I could go all the way because like it's just it's just the meat is good, man. Pause. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My dog say he love that chicken, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the beef's good, man. So, um, yeah, so I, 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 I dabble. Like, right now, like, so this week, actually, I'm going to start. Uh, matter of fact, nigga just dropped my groceries off right now. Um, mm. Wait, wait, wait. You got somebody that, you, are you talking about, like, a store that drops them off, or you had somebody it's actually drop them it's just Amazon, man. It's not okay, that, I didn't know. I was gonna say, fancy, boy, bro. damn, you can't hide that check, nah, man. Nah, it's not that fancy, though. All right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, you're gonna have to send me. I want to, I, I honestly want to try it out, man. At least give it a week. See, you know what I'm saying? Do it, do it. because what, what you'll find, dog, is like we're so used to eating like shit that when you actually intake what you're supposed to and what the body actually wants, like nutrient wise, you, right. you see like really quick how how bad the food we eat is. Like you can taste right. it. Like, like, right. you'll, like, I, like you'll, you eat like that for a week. As soon as you eat a burger, you're like, damn, this, this tastes. It tastes good, like on the tongue, but like you can feel how it's bad. Like you can taste yeah. the grease. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. And so that's that. That's the issue. And, and a lot of like, I mean, honestly, a lot of our like, you know, we we talk about COVID. We talk about uh, you know, police officers killing people. We talk about whatever the case may be, right? Right. Alcohol, whatever. The biggest killer of our people 
in this country is heart disease. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's strictly dietary, man. So it's like we joke about it and shit, but it's something. So I, like I'll be on my family. Like, listen, yo, hmm. like it's it's time. Like we getting up there, so it's time to start paying attention to what you put in your body. Like all these family get togethers is cool, and everybody cooking hmm. yams and macaroni and all that shit. <laughs> right. But like, they get out, yo, one of y'all niggas gonna end up in the hospital. Like it's real shit. Oh, sure. I had a heart attack already, man, four years ago. So you yeah, had a heart attack? I had a heart attack. So when I asked you about that, like, yeah, it's crazy. And and it's like, you know, they say it could be like, I never knew my father growing up. That's a different story. But like th- that side of the family could come, you know, hereditary or it becomes from, you know, obviously the stuff you put in your body and, you know, the depression and all that type stuff. So, yeah, yeah but I understand what you're saying because I had to change my diet completely. I went from, you know, eating red meat or you know cheetos and whatever the hell i wanted to eat to now yeah no it's salad you gotta have green smoothies you know and, um, fish all the time and it's just a big difference but i also feel a lot de- better sometimes and i didn't know i didn't know that dog yeah. well i ain't really i haven't really released it i've been this is like the four year anniversary january 20th so like um n- lately i've been just more um you know letting it know and i think like the stuff that happened with hamlin you know yeah um it, it needs to be spoken about because just because it, it we had a doctor on our show we talk about pre, like preventative medicine and if people mm-hmm. would get stuff like that checked out and know how their heart is in what kind of shape it is in before you know you get to play any sports and stuff then they can prevent your ass from having a heart attack or having mm-hmm. these some you know these episodes so you know that's the reason why i asked you but that lifestyle is heavy man no a thousand percent and that's crazy man um because when i first started out on a journey man uh i had like Man, hundreds and hundreds of doctors reach out to me because, like, when I first like said I was vegan, like it was that shit was not in the sports world, and yeah. um, uh, and so it, it wasn't really known like that, right? Yeah, I remember nigga, they had Skip Bayless and Stephen A. arguing about if I should go vegan or not. Wow, um, but so it wasn't wasn't that known, and so like a lot of these like doctors started reaching out to me, and I started reading a lot of literature and stuff, and a lot of like heart disease and cholesterol and stuff like that. Can actually be reversible if you're if you if you eat plant based, and sure. that's what's crazy about. It. I mean, I'm curious though, dog. Like, did they say what the like did, like what actually caused it? Like, what was? Well, that's what I was. You know, when you go in there, you you try to get to the bottom of it. But the doctor said, for my age, and the first thing that comes out, they're like, "Man, do you do meth? Right? You know what I mean?" He's like, "Cause, <laughs> cause." And I'm like, shit, man, like, hell no, nah, I done did some Percocet before, from, you know what I mean? I definitely do weed on a regular, but I'm telling the doctor for real, like, the drugs I do, because I'm like, what's up? And he's like, man, hell no, nah, I asked, do you do meth? I said, I ain't never did no meth dog in my life. And he was like, I figured that, but he was like, for you to be this young and have that either has to be like hereditary, you know what I'm saying? Um, and basically, it's like comes from somebody on my side of the family. And the fact that I probably we have been drinking Kool Aid, eating uh, noodles and cup of noodles and all that shit, it didn't help. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I did a checkup about a, you know three months ago. I went in with my doctor and they did all my blood. It's a it's a big difference. But the fact that I had that, if I don't eat right or get that shit together, I'm still at risk at any moment. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. <clears throat> It man, that's crazy, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But glad yeah. you caught it though. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, we you know, we here for a reason, and I'm thankful mm-hmm. I am here, man. And I probably that's why I'm here to let people know like it is about what you put in your body. Take care yeah. of it. If you wanna if you wanna be these two athletes and be like you know, Arian Foster, CJ2K, then definitely gotta make sure you put the right fuel in that shit. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah. All right, let's get to the to the to the uh 2K, we got to get to the elephant in the room, man. <laughs> this crazy man here. I want to know when they dropped your script off. Because I ain't never got my rig script. I'm trying to get my shit. If they would have told me I was getting cut that year and I never was going to get picked up again, I would have tried to rewrite my script. <laughs> Bruh, that shit so crazy, fam. That shit... So man, I'm on a podcast, dog. Like I got a podcast. I've been going for like two years now. Like, we just, we, 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 I yeah. remember. So it, it, is, it is, it is, good. You know what I'm saying? We got like it's really good. Like right? ain't gonna flex the numbers, but like it's a really, good, really good podcast. A lot of people listen, but it's like super sarcastic, especially with this nigga. You do white dude named PFT. Mm-hmm. And PFT's like he's a funny ass nigga, dog. So he's just like <laughs> super funny. But like that's kind of that's my brand of humor anyway. So this nigga. Randomly says shit, and I always react to it, and that's what makes it so funny. That's what makes it so funny. Right. So this nigga just randomly wanted, it was like, man, 
So you was telling me earlier about how the NFL was scripting and stuff, and so I was like, <laughs> you know it, you know it is, and they, you know, and they and they bring it to you every before every training camp. We just start bantering like that. They right. the clip, they post it. <laughs> Man, that shit went crazy. Oh my mom, crazy. I was like, yo, like I mean, all the shit that niggas post for podcasts, all the shit that niggas put, like you never think. Like, so, so, like, I'm talking about, though, I got calls from niggas I ain't heard from in 10 years. I swear to God, like, my bro. My mama getting calls from people she ain't heard from in 10 years. And that shit was on every new station in the world almost, bro. Like, every like, one of our friends talking about, I knew it. I knew it was crazy. Like, I knew what? Man, yeah. that fucking sound like, crazy as hell, I'm like, dog. dog. I'm like, dog. Like, and, and, bro, matter of fact, the next day, I go to take my little son to go get a haircut. <laughs> and, and we we in a barbershop, and, and and some other dude, some some one of his other clients come in, and we just all sitting talking. Me and him talk, talking about whatever, and all of a sudden he's just sitting there, and he goes, "Hey man, I got to ask, man." <laughs> he said, "Is that shit real?" I said, "No, like no, bro. Just, like, how you think it? Like it's crazy, man. Like and then now and now it's even worse because like the people that thought it was rigged." They got their validation, and now I'm like, bro, I was joking. They was like, yeah, bro, they paid you to say that. Exactly. Right. They paid you to say that. I'm like, man, all right, fam, it's rich. Whatever. Like, whatever. Right. The best part about you saying that though is when you just seen all the other all the other NFL players coming out. Like, yeah, when I got torched for two hundred, yeah. I, I got my script, and they told me I had to yeah. give up two hundred. So now y'all right. know why that yeah. shit happened, man. That's shit. I guess it's still cracking like niggas at the Pro Bowl um, media days and shit. I mean, at the Super Bowl media days and shit. Yeah. Like, what do you think about the script? It's funny, bro. Like, yeah, really, like, really made it like a, like a national meme. Like, like anytime niggas, yeah. anytime they, they they favorite team don't win and shit, like, I just wasn't in the script. Yeah, spread it, yeah. yeah. You know, Vegas, <laughs> yeah, I told y'all about Vegas, man. Vegas yeah. didn't want them boys to win. It's script. <laughs> it hey, shit, it did what it's supposed to do, boy. It got it out there, went viral. Yeah. I can't. Uh, yeah, I don't want. I wasn't even trying. I was just joking. Like, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. That shit crazy. crazy. But I always yeah, go man. viral for the dumbest shit though. Like, I, yeah, I for viral. the dumbest shit. And, and it's crazy. It go viral off of the clip, not the actual whole interview. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, if they would have seen the whole interview, they would have they would have knew it was a joke. But yeah. just the clip. But that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I had I had niggas call me. What do you? It's not, what are you talking about, man? It's not a script. I was like, dog, stop, stop calling me, man. Doug, what nigga. Like, like, hey, what are you talking? Stop calling me, man. Well, our right. homeboys was convinced. They had it in our in our group chat. They was like, man, what y'all think? <laughs> talking about just because we know CJ and Lindell, we know that like, nah, nigga, y'all thought y'all probably had one too. <laughs> yeah, I know I ain't losing on purpose. Fuck y'all. I ain't fucking that script, man. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win. And I damn sure ain't fumbling in the script. So you I don't know what y'all thought. That's right. That's right. Well, man, shit, you know, man, it was good to have you on here, man. Good catching up with you, man. We done took enough of your time, man. We appreciate you. For coming on smash and dash man much love man much love good to see y'all still together still vibing you know what i'm saying yes, sir. brothers fathers, yes, sir. Shit, man. we need it's to find to a way to get a running back camp or something together man because you know it ain't got to be all the time but i really believe we we got enough with us three you know marshawn lynch and you know a few other dudes out there we can make you know change a few of these kids lives and i think that'll be pretty dope man man say less a little rbu Yes, that would be man, dope. Man, I'll cook that shit up so fast. Uh, yeah, because uh, see, I, I matter of fact, I seen uh, AP. He was at some event that he saying. always in Houston. That nigga always in Houston. Yeah, but, uh, I think he I stayed out there or somewhere. Oh, he does? I think, yeah, I he think probably he do. Out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I changed number because I ain't talked to him in a minute, man. So it's like that's a that's actually a real good idea, dog. Lashawn, like we all need to get together. Yeah, like, put it yeah. like once a, once a year, do like a little RBU. That'd be, that'd be yeah. Kinda, yeah, that'd be dope. That'd yeah, be bro. real though, and that's so different. That's different shades of the RBs, man. You got so many different styles, that'd be crazy. You said AP, Shady, you know, uh, money, CJ2K, yourself. Yes, that'd be cold, man. That would be, that'll, that'll, matter of fact, I'm gonna circle back on that idea, man. I'm gonna circle real. back. We, right. man, Netflix, hey, Netflix, if we lose something, I'm telling you. Yeah. Let's make it happen. It's for the kids, <laughs> man. It's no, I'm saying it's still for the kids, but it's giving them, it's giving them That's kids fact. exposure. No, you fat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you, bro, for real, but man. Yeah, this has been an honor, bro. man, for sure. Hey, remember, remember the same, bro. You know, we'll tap in. Shit, I, I don't even know if I got it, man. Matter of fact, if you got mine, hit me up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit you on the, on the DM. For sure. All right. Appreciate All right. you. Love, bro.